few friends help me with a number story today. I better clean them up so you can see what your number story is for today. am I? I am between 10 and 60. I am a common multiple of 7 and 8. Hmm. You may have your 100 number chart handy and it may be a good idea to grab it. Let's start with 7. 7, 14, 21, Seven times one, seven times two, seven times three, seven times four is 28. What's seven times five? 35. Seven times six? How about seven times seven? Great. Hmm. Should we keep going? It says up to 60. Let's do one more. Seven times eight, 56. All right, let's find our multiples of eight now. Eight times one is eight. How about eight times two? Great, 16. Hmm, eight times three? 24. Eight times four? 32, are we getting there? Eight times five? 40. Hmm. Eight times six, 48, huh, eight times seven, yay, 56, all right, you might have gotten that before we filled out our 100 number chart, but great job on our warm up today, so our magic number today is 56, I'm going to need a little bit more space today, so let me move my friends aside, we're going to set them right over here. We are gonna do some prime factorization today and it's really not as scary as it sounds, I promise. Can you think of a number that only has two factors in it? Hmm. Remember the factors, the two numbers that we multiply together to get a product. Can you think of one? How about the number two? What, do, what can we multiply together to get two? One times two. Is that it? Yes. When we multiply one and two together, we get two. So two only has two factors. There's no other numbers you can multiply together to get two. Because of that, two is a prime number. Okay, I'm gonna write this right here. How about the number three? Could three be a prime number? Yes, three is a prime number also because it only has two factors, one and three. What about four? Yep, one times four is four, so one and four are factors of four. Is there another factor? Yes, two. We know that two times two is four. Therefore, four is not a prime number, okay? Three, we said is. Four is not a prime number. What four is called is a composite number. So four is a composite number. So a composite number is going to be a number that's going to have more than just two factors, okay? But we're going to play with our prime numbers on our um, hundred number chart right here. So make sure you have that handy, get it out, and we're going to find all of our prime numbers just up, into fi up to 50 today. So one is actually neither a prime number nor a composite number. One's kind of special. One is one, but we're gonna cross it off, okay? Because it's not a prime number. Our goal is to cross off all of our prime numbers um, or all those that are, our goal is to cross off all the numbers that are not prime up to 50 today. So one is not prime. Is two a prime number? Yes. So I'm not gonna cross off two but let's actually now count by twos. How about four? Is four prime? We already noticed that it's not, so we're gonna cross off four. Four is not. How about six? 
It is not. Because one and six and two and three, right? Two times three is six. So it's not either. You're gonna notice as we keep going is seven. Nope, when we're, when we're trying to find our prime numbers in terms of two, we're actually gonna cross off every number except two that's a multiple of two, okay? So four, six, eight is not prime. 10 is not prime. I'm gonna keep going. 12, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30. So none of these numbers are prime because they have more than two factors, okay? Now our next step is to look at three. Is three a prime number? Yes, we already discovered that. So now with our threes, we're gonna go on and cross off all of our multiples of three because all those multiples are gonna have more than two factors. So that's three, six, I already did, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, three times nine is 27, 30, 33, good, because three times 11 is 33. We're gonna keep going, 36, 39, 42, 45, great and 48. So we did all of our threes. Now, when we look at our fours, I already have it crossed off, so we already know it's not prime. Do you think any multiples of four would be prime then? No. Four, eight, 12. As you notice, look at we already have them all crossed off, so we don't have to do anything with our fours. How about our fives? Let's see. Five, we leave alone. 10 is not prime, we already crossed that off. 15 we did, 20. Oops, we haven't crossed off 25 yet. 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. Okay, how about our sixes? You probably already noticed, we've already crossed off. Six, 12, 18, so we don't have to do any more work there. How about our sevens? Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, only one, 49. All righty, so what we did, we found all of our prime numbers up to the number 50. So all these numbers I am circling only have two factors in them. And it's gonna be one and itself. Now double check my work, make sure I got them all. Do you see any mistake I made? Hopefully not. Hopefully we found all of our prime numbers here. Good job, you guys. Okay, now with prime factorization, we are gonna take a composite number. Remember our composite number has more than just two factors. Our composite number we're gonna choose is 24, okay? Now with 24, we're gonna first list all of our factors of 24, okay? And we can do it rainbow style if we want to. We have one, and 24 on our ends. Great, two times 12 is 24. Three times eight, great. And if you wanna do your rainbows, you can help you out there. Four times six, great. And five is not a factor. So we found all of our factors of 24. Now we're going to circle our prime numbers here. Okay, so our prime, we can check with our 100 number chart over here. So we notice that um, 2 is prime, 3 is prime, is 4, nope, 6, nope, 8, no, no, and no. Okay, so we found 2 prime numbers in 24. So when we do prime factorization, our goal is to get this number down into these just two prime numbers. And there's a couple different ways we can do this. So let's start with this activity. I'll give you the number 24. Now can you tell me, hmm, can you choose three numbers that you can multiply together to get 24? 
let's maybe go down to two. How about two numbers, any two numbers that when multiplied together, they get 24. Okay, I think I heard a lot of different answers, but one of them is six times four. Six times four is 24. Now, so we just broke that up into six times four. Now with our six, can we break that up even further? Are there two numbers that we can multiply together to get six? Yes, two times three. Okay, great. Now, I look over at my four over here. Hmm, so now I have two times three times, now let's look at my four. Yes, two times two is four. Hmm, now by looking at this, would you agree that two times three times two times two still equals 24? Yes. Do you agree that all these numbers down here are prime numbers of 24? Yes. Okay, so now that you see it this way, I'm gonna show you a factor tree and another strategy that sometimes people call the cake layering. Here we go. All right, we're gonna work with another number and this is called the factor tree. Let me erase this one right here. So our factor tree, let's start with the number 72. Now can you think of two numbers that I can multiply together to get 72? I heard a lot of great answers there, and we're gonna start with eight and nine, because eight times nine is 72, okay? We're gonna keep working down our factor tree right here. Number eight, can you think of two numbers I can multiply together to get eight? Great, two times four, wonderful. Can we keep going? Not anymore with our two, but how about our four? Great, two times two is four. Now we just ended this side of our tree with all prime numbers, and that's our goal. Let's go over here to nine. What two numbers can we multiply together? Great, three times three. Can we go any further than our three? No, they're prime numbers, so we're gonna circle that. So what we just discovered with our number 72 is that two times two times two times three times three equals 72. All right, now let's do the cake layering method. This one's a little bit different. Again, we're gonna start with our number 72. Now this, with this strategy, it's really great to start with maybe the smallest prime number. What is the smallest prime number that you can think of that, is, um, that 72 is divisible by? Great, I heard two. So 72 divided by two is gonna give us what? Great, 36. You notice where I'm putting it? I'm putting what we call our quotient right below my number here. Okay, and I'm gonna keep layering my cake. 36, again, I'm gonna see if it could be divisible by two. I wanna stick with those low, low, the lowest of low prime numbers. And we know 36 is divisible by two because look at six in our ones place is an even number. What is 36 divided by two or half of 36? 18. Great, I'm gonna keep doing my twos as long as I can. 18 divided by two is gonna give me nine. Great, can I use two again? Nope. What can I use? Three, great, nine is divisible by three. So nine divided by three is gonna give us three. Great. Uh-oh, what happens over here? Three divided by three, right, is what? One. So we're gonna get a one on the end. And we learned also, look at 72 is two times two times two times three times three. One last little trick I wanna share with you before we go, and this is working with what we call X exponents. It's something when a number is multiplied by itself exponentially or a certain number of times. And so how many three, how many twos do you see right here? Great, three of them. So this is how I can write it. And we'll talk more in detail about this later. Our base number is two and it's multiplied by itself three times. That's our exponent up there. Okay. So I just took all of this and I reduced it to this and then I'm going to multiply it by my base number of three, and how many? I'm multiplying three by three, so twice. 
I'm gonna put two as my exponent up there. Alrighty, and you can see this too. If I have two and I'm multiplying it by two, there's two of them, that's gonna give me four. But then I take this and I multiply it by another one, by two, it's gonna give me two to the third power. We also call this two cubed. You notice my cube? All right, you guys, have a great day and I'll see you next time.